Good morning class. Today we're going to continue our genetics discussion and we're going to talk about some genetic diseases. The one that I pulled out for us today is cystic fibrosis. It's a disease that affects your lungs but it also affects many different organs in your body. It's a good disease to study because it's autosomal recessive disease and we'll learn all about that, what, what that means later. We're going to study some facts about it. I'm going to give you some statistics and I'm also going to let you hear from a girl who has cystic fibrosis. This girl is Laura Rothenberg. She recorded a lot of her life in and out of the hospital. Those recordings were turned into a book called Breathing for a Living. It's a wonderful book and I suggest each of you read it. It's on loan in the library, so if you get time, please check it out. So here's what Laura has to say and then I'll give you some facts about the disease. I was diagnosed with cystic fibrosis when I was three days old. It was 1981. And uh, I guess at that time, my parents really didn't know how long I would end up living. The average lifespan of a person with CF was much younger than it is now. When I was 12 and 13, I met a lot of kids in the hospital with CF. There was sort of like a whole gang, you know, there were all the CF kids. And we just play cards and talk dirt about the nurses and watch TV shows at night, ride down the hall on IV poles. There was just this sort of bond, you know. Laura's story is a very touching one. I encourage each of you to read her book to find out more about her struggle. Now, to give you some facts about the disease, cystic fibrosis is also known as CF. It's a hereditary disease affecting the mucous glands, the lungs, liver, pancreas, and intestines, and it eventually causes multi-system failure. The mucus builds up inside your lungs and blocks your airways. This makes it easy for bacteria to grow and leads to repeated serious lung infections. Over time, these infections can cause serious damage to your lungs. Oftentimes, symptoms for CF will appear in infancy and in childhood. Individuals with cystic fibrosis can be diagnosed prior to birth with a newborn screening test, which are becoming increasingly common. There is no cure for CF, and most individuals with cystic fibrosis die very young. Many of them die in their 20s and 30s from lung failure. It is one of the most common life-shortening childhood onset inherited diseases in the United States. One in every 3,900 children are born with cystic fibrosis. It's an autosomal recessive disease, and approximately 30,000 individuals in the United States have it. It is diagnosed equally in male and females, but males do tend to have a longer life expectancy. The CF is caused by the gene CFTR. Although most people without CF have two working alleles, only one is needed to prevent cystic fibrosis. Cystic fibrosis develops when neither allele can produce a functional CFTR protein. Therefore, it's considered an autosomal recessive disease. Each of us inherits two CFTR genes, one from each parent. Children who inherit an abnormal CFTR gene from each parent will have CF. Children who inherit an abnormal gene from one parent and a normal gene from the other parent will not have CF. They will be CF carriers, though. Usually carriers have no symptoms, they are able to live normal lives, and can pass the abnormal CFTR gene to their children. Serial infections are also common, and people with CF usually develop other types of lung disease. Treatment usually occurs at specialist centers, and these centers tailor their treatment to the individual because the disease can have a lot of different symptoms. Usually, the therapy targets your lungs, your gastrointestinal tract, your reproductive organs, and they offer psychological support. In addition, therapies such as transplantation and gene therapy are trying to cure some of the effects of cystic fibrosis. Usually, these patients are on antibiotics at all times, even if they're healthy, to try and decrease the risk of bacterial infection. So I hope you guys have learned a lot about cystic fibrosis today and about how genetic diseases are inherited. Next time we're going to talk a little bit about some different diseases. So I will see you guys next time.